right, I'm going to be working on making a coat rack. This is uh, going to be made out of some old barn wood that's over 100 years old. Um, I have some pre-Civil War lumber that's sitting over here. Um, and it came out of the same barn, but I think this piece is a little bit newer. Um, not quite uh, Civil War. This one is definitely Civil War uh, lumber. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you the first step of kind of selecting my board. I've uh, used this bristle to clean up all the bird poop that was all on this to kind of just clean it up. It's a really nice and easy way to do it. Okay, I decided to use um, two of the thinner panels. Uh, these would be side panels on a barn. And I've already done this one. I'm just taking this brush, cleaning it up, and I'm gonna put the two side panels together so you have a shelf on top, and then the coat rack hooks will set on this. I'll show you what it looks like here in just a minute. Okay, I've cleaned up the two pieces. As you can see, this looks really nice. Got all that bird poop that's been sitting on it for years. This is the other piece, and I'm gonna trim it to three and a half feet. Okay, I've cut my boards to size. This is the top, and this is where the coat hooks will attach. What I'm gonna do is kind of just to show you what it's gonna look like is, here's kind of the angle and how I'm going to attach it. Um, the top will have a nice little shelf to put some stuff on, and then you have the coat hooks below. And here's a full view of what it'll look like from the bottom. And then I'm going to use uh, my nail gun, but I'm gonna put a strip of glue in here to hold it and then nail it. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm putting a nail, um, pretty much I'm putting five nails in, one on either side, one in the middle, and then two uh, in the middle of that. So as you can see here, I just lined up my nail gun and I just fire right on into it. Okay, I've nailed the top in and as you can see, uh, the coat hook shelf rack is uh, basically done. I just now have to attach the, the coat hooks on the shelf here and then attach it to the wall. You can see the back. Okay, I've attached the hooks to the board and the screws are really long and they punch through the back. Well, this isn't really a problem if you have a Dremel and I have a cutting a disc on here and all I need to do is just come along here and turn on my Dremel and just cut it off. There you go. It's as simple as that. I'll just continue doing that for the rest of them and then I'll be done. Okay, I've cut off the ends of the screws. As you can see here, this is kind of what just comes off. It's just a little piece um, that just comes off right when you use your Dremel, just falls right off. And the piece is ready, it's done. And all I need to do now is mount it to the wall. All right, as you can see, I have the shelf. It's all complete and everything's hanging on the wall and it came out beautiful.